If you want to take being a tourist a yard to a whole new level, maybe you could think about investing in resort real estate. In this month's episode of Let's Travel Caribbean.com, we take a look at some of the opportunities available. One of the big ones is Bessel Living, which is expected to be completed in mid-2023. It's got the beach, it's got the river, there are condos and villas, and let's not forget the cute turtles that hatch in the sand. When and how can you get in on this? We get the latest details from Sajikor's real estate gurus. A lot of the persons who buy property in that segment of the market are persons within our diaspora. So there was a correlation between arrivals in Ireland and um, a fall in sale of properties in the resort segment of the market. In 2020, we had a fall in the transfers of properties along the coastal lines, but it again picked up in 2021 and 2022, and we saw um, improvements of about 21 to about 30% um, in transfers between those two years. Buyers include not just persons who are looking for a holiday home, but also younger millennials who are buying properties as investment options. Hamilton says personal use buyers are looking for condos and detached homes. Anything on or within walking distance of the beach is hot, and buyers tend to want enough space to entertain family and friends. There are also options available for those who want to use property to generate income from short-term rentals. Then there are large corporate buyers who are planning new builds and are looking for either greenfield developments or properties that already have infrastructure in place. Sajikor's experience within the real estate space, uh, I believe, is well documented and known to the wider public. And as a result, you know, there are um, numerous transactions and opportunities that are, are shown to us for our consideration. Uh, but specifically, what we're focused on now within the tourism space is uh, uh, completion of our development in Aroka Bessa St. Mary, uh, which is uh, the Bessa development. So the uh, development is, uh, is scheduled for completion in the middle of uh, 2023. The 86-unit development includes 50 river condos, 28 ocean suites, and 12 pool villas. And there are hints of other major tourism-related real estate projects to come. Yeah, so upon the completion of Bessa, we're still very bullish on the real estate uh, market, and in particular, we'll have some uh, interaction with the tourism space. So... There are several opportunities uh, that we're currently exploring and uh, other key strategic partnerships that, uh, uh, you know, all being well before the end of 2023, would we'll be able to uh, share this information with the public. St. Anne has been on fire over the last five years and it will continue to grow for the next couple of years to come. Um, the resort market is not only a lucrative investment opportunity for persons interested in owning a second home, or rental property in tourist towns, it is quite popular for members of our diaspora who are looking to retire here. In terms of individual units that the um, buyers may look into to invest in, whether it is on the North Coast or the South Coast, on the North Coast it is Paradisiac, which is a new gated community that's available. It is on the ocean front and there is um, Draxall Marina. There's a new phase that is being built now, so that's another option, um, coastline in terms of properties that are available for sale. In our play segment, we take you to the Art Walk Festival in downtown Kingston, held every last Sunday of the month. It's a display of Jamaica's artistic and cultural talents. Performances are free, but be sure to book a guide tour of the murals. Alright? So she painted that to explain her experience 
Also, too, we're continuing along. We also painted the passage here at the end. Sheets and sunglasses. This was made from the local source in Earth and where again this is where we can go the edge of the water. And right here we have flowers and sea moss. We also have a beautiful coast and it has the red stripes and it so you can chill at the beach while you drink. To wrap up the show, we're off to Miss Lily's at Skylark Negril for the taste segment. Executive chef Kahari gives us the inside story on everything from their freshly made cocoa breads, they make about 120 each day, to a one-of-a-kind roast corn slaughtered in jerk mayo, then covered in toasted coconut flakes. Yum! Ready for more? Okay, let's travel. We're here at Lily's and as you can see, this beautiful dish right here. Um, we're still getting the whole taste flavor profile, but just stay tuned to what else we have on the menu. Welcome to Miss Lily's at Skylark Negro. My name is Chef Kahari. I'm the executive chef here at Miss Lily's. I'm here to talk to you about some of our wonderful dishes and I hope you enjoy. One of our top sales on our run special. So we do a uh, crispy fry fish. We use a uh, homemade cocoa bread. We make cocoa bread every day here. We do probably 100 to 120 cocoa bread every day. We made that in house. We do, we're doing a garden salad with it and we also get everything organic from a local farm. So on the, on the sandwich, we do uh, a jerk mayo. Also, we do some Escovich pickles. And then we go in here to the corn. So we're probably the only people in the only restaurant in Jamaica serving this jerk corn. So we use a jerk mayo, which we mix mayonnaise with our signature jerk sauce. Also, we do toasted coconut flakes and a fresh lime. So just a tip how to eat this. You always go for the lime right on top. Just to balance the fat. And now we have our watermelon salad. It's some. It's nice, fresh, bright. You can look at it. We do, uh, we do diced watermelon, which is organic. Everything we do is organic. We do local feta. Also, we do fresh mint. We do uh, a lemon vinaigrette. And also, we do a chili pepper sauce. To go, it goes really well with the sweet and the spicy. This is our jerk chicken. So, this is why probably the most painstaking part of our job. We do a 48 hour process. So we do a 24 hour brine 
then we do a 24 hour marination. Also, then we slow cook this in our, in our own slow cooker. We have a, a smoker that we do this for like 20 minutes. Now this is our jerk ribs, our jerk barbecue ribs. So we have a combination of jerk and barbecue on this ribs. We serve this with, uh, we do it in the smoker for about for like four or five hours, slow cook. We do the quintessential side, which is rice and peas. We do a mango chutney, just to balance the heat from the, from the rib. Also, we do a sweet potato salad. So it's just a regular salad, but we use sweet potato. If you're wondering where to get this, you can come here at Lily's, ask them for it, it's for locals. 20% off, 40% off spa. They are to look out for it. And you're getting reasonable priced food that is literally amazing. Manager said for the camera, the jerk chicken seasoned to the bone, the fish, perfection. The corn, when I tried yet, but just from the looks alone, you know that this is going to be amazing. So just like that, Thanks for tuning in. Catch us on the next episode.